positif. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, so today we continue our class with discussion. A right pyramid PQRST. This is my test 5.1i number 4b. A right pyramid PQRST has a rectangular base QRST. Given that W is the midpoint of QS. Okay, I draw. A diagram. This is W, the midpoint of QS and RT. This is 8cm and this is 6cm. W is the midpoint. Okay. The length of QT is TS6. And point P is vertically, vertically above point W. Calculate PT. Okay. Means this is orthogonal. Okay. This is midpoint. PQRST. Okay. PT you get 13. Find the value of angle PTR. So angle PTR. If I redraw the triangle. This is P. And this is T. And here R. Here is W. Middle. The okay, middle. Mm. PT, you get 13. Okay. TR, we don't know. But we can uh, use uh, Pythagoras theorem, TR, using triangle QRT. 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 This is 9 degrees. QT is 8 and here is 6. So, W in the middle. RT, Pythagoras theorem. 6, 8, and 10. So here should be 10. So 10. Or here we can find 5, 5. Because this is middle. So you want to find the angle PQT. Kalau saya lukis a right angle triangle, uh, saya boleh guna PTW. Okay, saya redraw balik PTW. Okay, ni kita sedang discuss 4.1, eh sorry, 5.1i number 4b. Mind test 5.1i number 4b. Okay, if I redraw PTW 513, PTW, this is 5 and this is 13, we want angle PTR. PTR equal to PTW. Angle PTR equal to angle PTW. So now, angle PTW, we can use, uh, this is adjacent and this is hypotenuse. Adjacent, hypotenuse. So, cha, to, wa. So, adjacent, hypotenuse. Adjacent, hypotenuse. So, cos, cos, Theta equal to adjacent 5 over 13. So you can use your calculator. Shift cos 5 over 13. So you will get the answer. Okay. 
cos 5 over 13. Eight degrees. Okay, please give your answer in four decimal places. Yes. Okay. 67.38 degrees. That is the answer. So understand? Sangare? Okay. So we continue. Uh, self mastery number two. Self mastery number two. Okay, I draw the diagram. This is hexagon. Six sides. Regular hexagon. Okay, the diagram on the right shows a regular hexagon PQR as to do with side 60M. Okay, with side 60M. Calculate for number two, which question you want me to discuss? 2A, B, C, or D? Okay, entry. To A, B, C, or D? To B. To B. Okay, to B. Angle T, P, S. Angle P, T, S. T, P, S. Okay, here. This angle. What is the angle of P, T, S? What is the angle of P, T, S? PTS here. What is the angle? For A? 90. Very good. This is 90 degrees. Okay, this is a regular hexagon. Uh, how to calculate the, the total interior angle? Total interior angle for hexagon. What is the formula? Anyone? Volunteer? Yes, good. N minus 2 multiply 180. So because this is a regular, so we divide by N. N minus 2. So this is 6 minus 2. Multiply by 180, divide by 6. So 180 multiply 4, divide by 6. This is 120 degrees. So each angle is 120 degrees. Here, nine, 120 minus 90, this is 30 degrees. And here also 30 degrees. Okay. Next, this is 120. 120. And here, this is equal. The total uh, total angle for quadrilateral total angle for quadrilateral is three hundred sixty three hundred sixty divided by uh, minus one hundred twenty one hundred twenty is two hundred forty divided by two so divided by two the answer is sixty degrees so here is sixty here also sixty. So to get theta, to get theta, 120 minus 30 minus 60. So the answer is 40 degrees. Right or wrong the answer? You can check uh, with uh, behind answer from your textbook. Right or wrong? Please check for me. Theta, angle theta. The answer given is 30. Oh, sorry. 
Okay, so 2C and 2D, 10 by 3, 2C and 2D. Ten. Okay, very good. Because you can use a Pythagoras theorem. Okay, to get TP for C, to get TP, you can use Pythagoras theorem, this angle. So this is 6, 6, here 6, TU 6. So you can get T, let's say this is uh, W. So you can get TW using uh, sin, cos or tangent. So you can get that TW. Then after you get TW, you multiply with 2 because TW equal to PW. TW equal to WP. Sorry. Okay, so that is how we get TP. The ratio of area triangle PTU to area uh, triangle PTS. Angle PTS. So, using 1 over 2 multiply uh, base, multiply height. Okay, to get this height, you can use a Pythagoras theorem because just now for C, you get TW. After you get TW, you get TU. So, you can use Pythagoras theorem to get uh, UW. So, this is the height of triangle PTU. So, 1 over 2 multiply. 1 over 2 multiply PT, okay, the base, multiply uh, UW, multiply UW. That is the area of the triangle PTU. Next, this is ratio to 1 over 2 multiply triangle PTS. So 1 over 2 times height, the height is PT, multiply base TS6. So you count, then you write in uh, ratio, okay. Okay, next, number three. Number three, just now. Number three. Danisha, uh, number three, A, B or C? Self-mastery, number three. A, B or C, Danisha? All, okay. So, I draw the diagram. M, N, D, C. This is theta. A, B. This is H, C, M. The diagram on the right shows a rectangle A, B, C, D. It is given that A, B, A, B, C, 2, A, B. Okay, B, C, 2, A, B. B, C equal to 2, A, B. So this is 2 multiply 8. This is 16. B, C equal to 16. This is 16 cm. And N is the midpoint of B, C. Midpoint. So here 8 and here 8. If MD, MD equal to 1 over 4 AD, MD equal to 1 over 4 AD, calculate the length of MN. State your answer in third form. Okay. MD, MD equal to 1 over 4 AD, AD. AD is 16. So 1 over 4 multiply 16. This is equal to 4 cm. So MD is 4 cm. Okay. Uh, the question, find the angle. So you can draw right angle triangle. Okay. This is 4. This is 4. So balance here should be 4. Here also 4. And here, same with A, B, A. Okay, I redraw the triangle. Okay, 
This is theta m a n. Uh -uh. Okay. Okay, sorry, we continue. Okay, uh, tadi ni, ni kita jangan buat ni, kita buat U lah. Tak kasi U, bukan 8. Kita letak sini U. So, 4, 8. This is 4, 8. So, now, this is opposite. And here is adjacent. So, cha. Toa. Okay. So, cha toa. So, opposite adjacent. Opposite adjacent. So, tangent. Tangent theta equal to 8 over 4. So, theta equal to shift tangent 8 over 4. So, use your calculator. Shift tangent 8 divided by 4, 2. So, this is equal to 63.5. Four, three, four, nine degrees. But the question asks you, uh, oh, saya dah pergi buat, mana ni? Saya buat ni. Saya pergi buat yang mana ni? Aduh, hai. Tak ada orang tegur saya ni. Saya pergi cari teta pula. Soalan dia untuk cari teta kan? Ha, itulah dia. Saya terlambu dah. Aditya, awak tekan pin pada nama saya yang ada ni. Yang ada uh, page ni, you tekan pin. Ada gambar pin tu. Oh. Tak pasti saya. Oh. Full screen tak ada full screen. Okay tadi sorry. Hai. Mungguan lah pula. Bila saya draw sini. Okay dia nak cari MN. Ni nak cari MN. Nak cari MN. So MN. This is Pythagoras theorem right. MN squared equal to X squared plus 4 squared. And this is 64 plus 16. So this is 80. We want mn only. So mn should be square root of 80. So we can, um, can we uh, simplify? 
80. 80. 80 is 16 multiplied by 5. So this is 16, 5. So this is 4 square root 5. Because the question asks you to state your answer in set form. So this is set form. 4 square root 5. Okay, yang ni abaikan eh. Ini tak ada. Dia salah tadi. Dia nak cari MN for A. For B. Oh, sorry. Okay. For B, calculate the value of theta in degrees and minutes. So, tadi kita dah buat untuk B ni. Okay, saya dah pergi buat untuk B. Uh, theta 53.4349 degrees. But the question asks you to find degrees and minutes. So, 40, 63. Nak tukar. Uh, here. 63 degrees, 26 minutes. Okay, that is the answer in degrees and minutes. Okay, until here, A, B, any question? Okay, next, C. Shahril uh, stated that the ratio of the area of trapezium, area of trapezium, CDMN, the Shahril stated that the ratio of the area of trape trapezium CDMN to the area of trapezium, trapezium, a, B and M is 1, 2, 2. Is, is Shahrel's statement true? State the reason for your answer. So, you need to find area of CDMN, trapezium CDMN. So, area CD, sorry, CDMN equal to, okay, what is the formula to get area? 1 over 2 multiply the sum of parallel line. Ah, yang ini ramai murid uh, lupa. Area trapezium. 1 over 2 multiply the sum of parallel line. This is parallel line for this trapezium. This is parallel line. 4 and 8. So we plus 4 plus 8. Multiply height. Height of trapezium DC is 8. So 4. Uh, this is 12. 6, 40. 8 cm squared. Okay. Next, area for A, B and M. A, B and M. 1 over 2 multiply the sum of parallel line. This is the sum of parallel line A, B and M. This is trapezium A, B and M. So parallel line, the total BC is 18. The total of AD also 16. So 16 minus 4 here should be 12. So, the sum of parallel line, okay, this side, 8 and 12. So, 8 plus 12. Multiply the height of trapezium, 8. So, this is 80 cm squared. So, find the ratio. Find the ratio. Area C, D, M, N. To area A, B and M, this is 48 
AT. So if we simplify, if we divide by A, okay, we divide by A, 6, 10. Okay, simplify, we divide by 2. So 3, 2, 5. So is Shahril's statement true? Shahril statement is not true. Because the ratio is 3 to 5. Understand? For number 3? Yes, not true. It's not true. Because the ratio that we get is 3 to 5. Understand? Okay. So we finished chapter 5 officially. Okay, we already learned chapter 6. Chapter 6 until uh, example example 3. Correct? Example, sorry, example 3 or 4. For chapter 6. We stop until example 5. Okay, example 5. So, if example 5 uh, means you done my test 6.1a, right? 6.1a, any problem? No, 6.1b, any problem? No. Okay, 6.1c. Any problem? 6.1b. 6.1b. 3b. 6.1b. 3b. Okay. T U S T U S means here yeah, T U S R Q S R Q S Okay, kena baca dulu. Nanti sekarang kita salah info pula. Okay, kena baca. Uh, in the diagram on the right, the length of R Q P T Q P T equal to three R S Q P T Okay, Q P T yang ini yang besar ni, equal to 3 RS, 3 RS, yang ni RS. Okay. Uh, given that, angle QRT is 66, angle QST equal to 26, and angle PTS 100. Determine the value of angle RQS. So, what is the angle of RQS? A. Angle RQS. What you get for angle RQS? 22. Okay. So now angle uh, angle TUS. TUS. Okay. If here 22, 
So angle R, this is RS, length RS. Angle RQS, 22. So angle QPT also three times angle Q. Okay. If the arc is three, triple. So the angle also triple. So angle of TS, uh, TSQ equal to three multiply angle RQS. So angle RQS is 22. So this is 66 degrees. Okay. So now we want We want, uh, we get for PSQ, PSQ, sorry, PSQ, not PSQ, TSQ, TSQ yang ini. Okay, kita dapat 66. Sekarang angle TSU, angle TSU we get uh, 66 minus 26. So this is 40 degrees. So here 40 degrees. Angle S, 40 degrees. This is 40 degrees. Okay. Uh, lagi, kita boleh cari mana lagi? Kita cari dulu mana yang boleh. Kalau sini 100, ini 40. If here 100, here 40, here should be 40. Because 180 minus 100 minus 40. So we get 40. Lagi, mana lagi kita boleh cari? Ah, This angle. This angle. Ataupun angle ini. Uh, same base. Sorry. Same base. RQS sama dengan RTS. Sebab dia same base. Okay, the same base. So, RQS is 22. RTS also 22. Ah, so, we can get theta. Oh, sorry, sorry. We can get theta equal to 180 minus 22 minus 40. So we get one one eight degrees. I cannot see. Ah. Okay. So tadi angle RQS equal to angle RTS because same base. Same base. Here 22. So here also 22. So now we get 22. Here 40. Here 40. So 1 triangle 180. 180 minus 22 minus 40. So 180 minus 22 minus 40. So we get 180. 114. Mana saya silap kira? RQS betul 22. RQS betul ke? Apa jawapan belakang 22? Yes, 22. So here should be 66. So minus 26 is 40. So 40, 22, 22, 62. Should be 118. Ada kawan-kawan yang dapat 114? Share sekali. Yinki dapat berapa? 118 one, 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 juga ke? Ah, mungkin ada kesilapan ah, jawapan kot tu. Okay. So 118 lah. Ada yang dapat 114? Kawan-kawan yang lain ada yang dapat 114? Aditya dapat berapa? Ha, 118. Ramai yang dapat 118 kan? Ha, mungkin ada kesilapan jawapan tu. Okay, so kita guna 118. Okay. Okay, next.
Example 5. Dah habis dah example 5. So mind test 6.1c. Any problem 6.1c? Saya dah suruh buat tak? Uh, 3b. Okay, uh, 3B, get Y. Uh, what is the value of X? X is 360 minus 250. So, this is 110. Okay, Y. Y, this is rocket. Y, rocket. So, Y is half from X. So, 1 over 2 multiply 110. So, the answer is 55 degrees. Boleh, Yinky? Y is rocket. Y and X is rocket. Okay, Yinky? Oh, ayo. 6.1D, 3B. Okay. Okay. 